This is our history. This is where we come from. We need to remember these things because these things are slowly becoming forgotten. So the importance of this is that we need to keep this tradition alive because this is where we come from. This is who we are. My name is Cody Lancaster and I am a Chickasaw weaver. I weave finger woven belts. I also weave mats and I weave belts um, on an ankle loom. Traditionally, women, we carry the stories, we carry things from our families. And our women, our grandmothers, they would tell us stories and they would show us things. And this is how we learned. So traditionally, I think that it was very social. And I think that um, it was a way for you to basically just have fellowship with other women. The, the feelings that I feel whenever I weave is basically love for my grandmother and wanting to keep her spirit alive whenever she passed away whenever I was very young so I didn't get to show her in, that I was able to do any of this but I still have two aunts and every time I make something they are just thrilled and they love it and it just it, it makes my heart happy to weave because of that I absolutely love making a regalia. Whenever I was a little girl, I would see the Chickasaw Princess and she would always have these beautiful belts on and these beautiful collars. And it's just something that spoke to me. And so whenever I came to my department, I asked them to teach me anything they could teach me. And um, making belts was one of the first thing they taught me and I just took off with it. Whenever you're using a finger woven stand like this, you use more of your own technique. You use yarn itself to manipulate itself and make different patterns. You can make lightning bolt patterns, you can make chevron patterns, diagonals, arrowheads, and just points with the yarn. This is actually an ankle loom, and this was brought to us by the Europeans. And this is a very easy technique. Um, it literally makes, it only takes me three hours to make a belt on this loom. Um, whenever you use a loom like an ankle loom, you have more of a brick pattern and it's more solid. And for me, I found the consistency a little bit better because I haven't used a finger woven stand as much as I have an ankle loom. This lap loom is basically for to make mats or handbags. Basically, you're just weaving over, under, over, under, over, under. And that's um, the basic weave for many things, for um, reed baskets, for the finger woven belts, for these lap looms, for um, the Navajo rug looms, for the ankle loom. And it's just a good pattern. And sometimes in your head, you'll just say over, under, over, under, and it'll become a song. You can sing it in your sleep. If I never came to the cultural center, if that was never open, then I wouldn't even know anything about weaving. It wouldn't be something that was so important to me. So then basket weaving, um, loom weaving, finger weaving, if that could become, a main staple of the Chickasaw family again, that would just make me so happy because this is something that traditionally we did and we need to go back to our roots.